That's my Kia guys. And I am straight out of content and I'm gonna give you guys some information on your Kia updates. Now again, guys, listen, this is the last video or one of the last videos that I will be doing pertaining to Kia engine settlement and how you can get your engine replaced in your Kia or your Hyundai vehicle, please head over to Carl's Garage. I'll put the link in the description down below. That's where I'm gonna be covering all new information going on with the Kia. So, oh, I don't wanna show you guys, but as you can see right here, this person who I'm helping out right now, I'm not gonna give out their information, they were actually not only were they denied, see no coverage for engine recommending to replace the engine bay, they were charged $191 total. This is real. Um, today is Thursday, I think it's the 16th of February. They were charged and I actually had to call, they were, and I'm gonna give the dealership, uh, they, were, they went to Cowboy Kia, I don't wanna show the person's information, but if you can see Cowboy Kia kinda threw the paper, but I don't know where you're at or what state you're in, but what I learned from talking to my local dealership, which is Beck and Maston in Tomball, they informed me that as long as you bring in, first thing you should do though is, first thing you should do, step one is call your local Kia dealership and say, hey, I have an, a recall issue. Don't bring it in under the pretenses of you having a mechanical issue. That's what the lady, just told me, she just gave me the right information at Beck and Mastin. She said, uh, they could have been charged due to how they brought in the vehicle. So like if your engine blows on the highway and they bring it in and they go, and you go, oh, that something's going wrong with the engine. Well, they're not gonna bring up these cars have recalls. They're just gonna diagnose it and tell you something's wrong with your engine. So the lady, the representative, shout out to her. Thank you so much. She informed me that whenever you're having an issue, call first before you bring your car anywhere and never let any other mechanic touch it. Call your local official Kia or Hyundai dealership and say, hey, my car is having issues due to the engine recall. And even if you do not have the KSDS software, which this car does not, the, the two recalls that are out on this vehicle that I found out today, are the software update and the canister. There's something wrong with one of the um, like evaporation canisters or something like that. So she said, go ahead, bring it in, and we do not charge you while looking at your car for the recall, and this car has two recalls. Then she said, well, is there anything going on with the car? And I said, yeah, it stopped working. And I told them that, you know, it was, there's a recall out on those engines. She said, oh man, yeah, if you can bring it in, we will look at it. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I know I haven't done any Kia videos and people keep asking me, I get a, probably a few thousand questions a month about the Kia update and the Kia vehicles and Hyundai vehicles. And uh, you know, people's engines are just failing left and right. My little cousin, he has the exact same Kia Optima that I have. His engine failed. He actually got his replaced because when I even, when I found out that he had the car, I said, Trey, you need to go ASAP and get that KSDS so that you can protect your car. My car has 160,000 miles on it and I only put uh, full synthetic oil in it and I actually don't drive it anymore as where I don't drive it as much ever since I got my new Lexus. But whenever I do drive it, if I drive it long periods, it does start to shake. So it's really on its way out because it shouldn't shake whenever I come to a stop but it still does perform. I still am able to drive long distances if I absolutely have to. But there will be a day when the engine in this car fails and I am actually protected with the KSDS. So you need that. You need to call if you are watching this video and you have any Kia or Hyundai of any year starting from 2011 to today, because the new, the new cars, if it's a two liter or 2.4 liter or the hybrid, you guys have the piston ring uh, piston ring recall. In this model year, the Theta Engine 2, you guys have the rod bearing recall. So you have a recall on your car, whether or not it's messed up or not. You need to call and get the software update so that you can be protected and in line for when that engine blows because it's going through. My cousin, his girlfriend's car, which is like a 2019 or 2020, her engine just blew. And I said, ma'am, you should have told me. 
You should have told me so if they were actually towing it to the dealership to get a new engine in it. My dad just bought a brand new 2023 Sorento. I said, dad, what engine did you get? Oh, I got the two liter hybrid. I said, it's gonna fail. <laughs> it's gonna fail. So guys, Carl's Garage, Carl's Garage, Carl's Garage. Head over to Carl's Garage, tell all your friends, I'm gonna be doing all the Kia engine settlement content over there at Carl's Garage, guys. You guys will be able to avoid paying $100, $200, you guys will be able to avoid paying, or I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you avoid paying hundreds of dollars just to get your engine replaced. I'm gonna help you not get screwed over because that's what a lot of these dealerships are doing when they're supposed to be honest and they know that the cars, they know how big the recall is and they're still charging people and then denying. This is a denial. Look at this. This is, she needs a diagnostic testing. She needs a diagnostic testing done. Please inspect a uh, found engine to be knocking from connecting rod bearing with an active whatever code. No coverage for engine. Recommend replace engine. That's crazy. That's crazy because I called the other dealership and they're like, nope, it has a recall on it uh, because the issue is due to the rod bearing. Uh, that falls under the recall. Therefore, we need to start the process to replace the engine. So I called up Miss Sharon and she is actually going to, she said that she had a tow truck driver right in front of her. So she's gonna start the process to do it. Um, so guys, I can help you out, but it's gotta be on the channel, Carl's Garage, my second channel. I created a second channel dedicated to helping people with car issues. Please allow me to do that. So please go over there, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so that I can give you guys more information at Carl's Garage. So I'm gonna actually end this video and I'm gonna go make another video and I'm, and I'm gonna uh, upload both of these videos to both of the channels. Tell everybody, please go to Carl's Garage. If you are watching this from Shade of the Content, head over to Carl's Garage. I'm gonna help you guys the best that I can, okay? Thank you guys for basic peace. <laughs>